Hello lovely people, it's Hila here, Saturday Night Stitch and today we're going to do a sewing related maintenance video on how to clean a steam iron. So as you can see this is my steam iron which has suffered worse for wear and I haven't cleaned it in a while so in order to clean it properly I'm going to use Oust All Purpose Descaler and some soda crystals. Now the all-purpose descaler is something that I got from uh, Wilco's and that's going to help with cleaning the internal pipes. So the first thing that I'm going to do is give it a nice dust down because it was quite dusty. So with regards to cleaning the sole plate and the whole iron in itself, I recommend using microfiber cloths like the ones that I've shown in there. I get those from pound shops. I'm also going to use a toothpick to just get into those little connecting segments to remove any ingrained dust and along with my microfiber cloth that is just a damp cloth by the way I haven't added anything uh, to it and that's just going to give it a nice brand new look because it doesn't have any ingrained um, any ingrained bits and you know these cocktail sticks they're so useful for cleaning up like that actually they're quite indispensable and that's the only thing that I actually use them for cleaning little tiny crevasses. So once we've done that, uh, just going through and removing the lime scale that's at the top, that's the spout where I add the water to and so it does have a bit more ingrained grime than the other places but always remembering to be uh, gentle with it because you don't want to pry them apart and I'm just using a paper towel there to just dry it off and wow it looks really sleek <laughs> once it's been cleaned up and I'm like why do I not do this regularly but better late than never okay so it's looking good now we've done the external and we're going to tackle that sole plate so to clean the sole plate I am going to be using the soda crystals and I'm going to make a paste with the soda crystals. So roughly about, you know, two tablespoons of the soda crystals and a little bit of water to make a nice paste that I will actually put onto the sole plate itself to help dissolve the lime scale and to help remove the lime scale bumps because I haven't actually cleaned my iron for well over four years at this point. And so it needed a proper soaking. So I just turned it upside down and I uh, use a spatula, silicon spatula, and just spread that uh, soda, that bicarb. You can also use bicarbonate of soda. I mean, I've got the soda crystals, the actual cleaning soda crystals, and just uh, put them on there. And what they'll also do is, apart from dissolving the lime scale from the steam spouts, they will also uh, help to scrub away very gently the lime scale buildup at the bottom. So I have that lime scale buildup because I use a Teflon foot plate on my iron, which is really good because it means that when I'm ironing my clothes, it doesn't leave a shiny residue when I'm pressing anything. And it is literally impossible to burn um, anything with it. But it does mean that if you're not cleaning it regularly, you do get that buildup. So once I've cleaned it, I am going to be making sure for maintenance wise, I will be doing a cleaning every month to make sure that we don't get the buildup. So using the microfiber cloth, um, just keep on doing similar iterations until eventually it's as smooth as I'm going to be able to get it on this particular sole plate. And again, this is because this is years of buildup, but hopefully you should be doing your cleaning more regularly. So now that we've done that, we move on to the next stage, which is actually using the descaler. So once you've got your descaler, be sure to read the instructions. Very, very important. So this particular one, I just have to pour the liquid into my tank and I add some filtered water. So very important to use the filtered water when you're actually doing this. If you don't have a filter jug, then bottled water will work just as well. Um, or you can get some distilled water, which will also work. So what you do with the iron is you then turn it on to its maximum steam setting. Please note, it's not actually turned on at the moment. This is all at this stage, we haven't plugged the power in or anything like that. 
So what you want to do is you want to leave it sitting somewhere where you can collect the water because you've opened the steam setting so it's just going to be dripping out. After about 15 to 20 minutes you then take it and you're going to press your steam button and that's the one that opens the spouse and it's just going to let it go through and as you can see there there is loads and loads of uh, lime scale and calcified bits and bobs from years of just you know pouring uh, tap water into the steam tank and then you want to get uh, rid of uh, as much of that descaler as you can and because you do get to a point where pressing the steam button doesn't actually do anything but yeah look at all of that gunk that was just sitting in there and the iron would get to a point where sometimes when i was pressing something the lime scale would come out and it was quite unpleasant and as you can see on the little spouts themselves you can see bits and bobs of the lime scale so it's now at this point that we're actually going to switch it on after we've filled the tank with filtered water and we're just going to do a steam bath have a towel uh, either a bath towel or a tea towel like i'm using and we're just going to go through the entire tank just letting it go with the steam if you have a calcitin option on your steam iron, you can use that. But I'm just basically uh, pressing that steam button for all it's worth and it's cleaning out those teeny tiny little pipes further. And you can see the bits that are still coming out. Ideally, you wouldn't have this much because you would have been doing this more regularly than I have. So this is a little bit of an extreme iron clean. And you're just going to keep doing this until you get to a point where you stop getting um, as much of those things coming out. And when your steam spouts get clogged, again, you're going to get that cocktail stick or toothpick and you are going to uh, poke them out and then do a steam bath until eventually it all comes out nice and clean and it is very satisfying. And so there's the Teflon uh, silicon foot that I put over my iron, which means that I can use this to press anything from wool to silk when I am actually sewing with brilliant results. And separately, I'm very happy with how this iron has performed. I've had it for five years now and it is still going strong. It has shown no signs of stopping and once I cleaned it, it was functioning like brand new. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, do give it a big thumbs up. Until I see you next time, happy sewing people. Bye.